Sister Bessie. Hello, Sister Deepika. Hello, Sister Elena, Sister Minal. Hello, Sister Vivian. Hello, Alyssa. Hello po, Nanay Dory. Kamusta po? Hello, Sister Mary Chris. Hello, Sister Mary. How are you? Magandang gabi po. Brother Francis, good evening. Sister Tess. Sister Emma. Hello, Hannah. Sister Rowena, Brother Nilo, hello. <clears throat> Sister Techi. Hello. Hello, Sister Myra. Praise God. Jessna, Sister Ampi, Sister Regina, hello Brother Robert, and Sister Daisy. Praise God. <clears throat> Come on, let's worship God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the wonderful Sunday service. Hallelujah. Coming from, uh, of course, the Lord and uh, coming from our spiritual director, Bishop Brother Eddie. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for their life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is just a uh, Thanksgiving uh, prayer. And before we hear the word and before we pray, hallelujah, can we worship God? I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great. For your name is great, great to be praised. I sing praises to your name, oh Lord, praises to your holy name. Do you? 
Hallelujah, mm-hmm. hallelujah, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. And His praise will continuously be in my mouth. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Thank you for this day that you have made. Your people are still rejoicing. Your people are still energized and are sustained by your grace, by your glory. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. We, Lord, we thank you for speaking to us this morning about the importance of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, right now, we just ask, hallelujah, that you uh, continue, O oh God, to be glorified and magnified in our life as we uh, gather tonight as a thanksgiving prayer. And Lord, even a short exhortation. And once again, um, give us, O oh Lord God, something that we can live by, O oh Lord God, as we are Hallelujah. Uh, enduring, not only enduring, as we are fighting the good fight of faith, O oh God, in this season. We thank you. Bless everyone that are tuned in right now. In Jesus' name, this we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good evening once again. Glory to God. Uh, let me put down my guitar. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, how's everyone tonight? Uh, I was really inspired and energized because I have once again heard our spiritual director, uh, uh, Bishop Brother Eddie Villanueva, and uh, I, what what he had shared with us is uh, the foundation, very foundational and very strong. Even in the midst of this uh, pandemic situation, he still keep on preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the power of God hallelujah, for man to be saved. Amen? And so tonight, nagpapasalamat tayo sa Panginoon. We are thanking God for um, what He is doing in our very lives. Amen? And so, uh, any more prayer requests? Okay? Praise the Lord. Hello, Sister Elma. Sister, Sister Shara is here. Justin is here. Um, Sister Marilu Namia, Brother Maynard, uh, Sister Annie, Ayan. Praise God, Sister Cha- Charito, Brother Marvin, Sister uh, Yoli, have a prayer request, Sylvia Manley, okay, positive of COVID uh, virus, uh, he needs, uh, she needs prayer for. Uh, Sylvia Manley let me write it down Sylvia Manley Sylvia Manley positive ng COVID okay. Sister Terry magandang gabi po Ate Mary good evening Sister Susan good evening and uh, let me go on straight to uh I'm just going to share you three things in uh, echoing what Brother Eddie have shared with us. Uh, the the uh, <clears throat> yung, uh, the power of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, in these trials, uh, the, the the gospel is really needed pang ng uh, ng bawat isa, no? lalong lalo na sa especially for those people that uh, have not received the Lord. Jesus because uh, there are I'm going to share with you three causes of trials or three causes of challenges all the more we need to share the gospel because there are three causes of uh, trials that I want to share with you number one uh, number one is uh, uh, there are trials that uh, uh, dealing that God is dealing with us personally amen Okay, let me pause for a minute. There's a more prayer request. Uh, before matabunan ng mga messages, let me just write it down. Um, Robert Burns. Daisy Robert. James Daislin and her family. The Barons family. Okay, uh, Brother Nestor, continue to pray for Jr. and Abby, and the daughter Gabby. Okay, got it. Uh, 
mother-in-law ni Sister Mary Rose Margarita Rodis Margarita Rodis Rodis yeah. Sister May Yeah, I got you You are Mary Rose <laughs> Ayan Okay, Sister Val Ayan, so uh, uh, Anyway, if I miss uh, The The uh the prayer request you can post it on the messenger and tomorrow night we will pray for them if i have missed something or someone okay the three causes of trials that i'm going to share with you number one dealings of god probably a person is going through trials because god is dealing something with that person okay number two self-induced trouble yeah self-induced trouble Probably there's a wrong decision, okay, a wrong association, and number three, attacks of Satan, okay. That's why the power of God is in the gospel, and uh, we need to connect. Ayan, napakaganda po ng binitawang salita ni Brother Eddie, that we really need to connect, to connect, to connect to the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our very firm foundation, the rock on which we stand. Amen. Ayan. So he he expo explained the uh, the good news and the bad news. The bad news is men have fallen into sin. That's why a lot of uh, a lot of people, including us, before we get saved, uh, we have been dealing with uh, a lot of trials, self-induced troubles. Okay. So we were going to talk about that tonight. Number one, if it is God's dealings, uh, if God is dealing with you. To some areas in your life, number one that you need to do is submit to God. Okay? Uh, go and turn to your Bible in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 7. James, chapter 4, verse 7. And kabisado naman natin yan. But let me just read it. James, chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Verse 8, let me include verse 8. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. So, uh, if it is a, a person is uh, uh, having trials, probably God is dealing with uh, with us, you know. And so, if it is God's dealings, we need to submit. Let us uh, help ourselves to submit our uh, life to God. And draw on His grace to go through the trial victoriously. Amen? If God is dealing with us something, uh, let's say for example, um, uh, the, the prophet Jonas, right? The, the Lord is telling him to go and preach to Nineveh, but he he didn't uh, follow the Lord. So God has to deal with, with him. And so what did he do? He submitted to God. Like right now. Amen? What what is God dealing with you on, on some areas in your life? In my life, then I need to submit to God. Amen? And resist the enemy, and the enemy will flee from you and this is the, the very perfect time for reflection mag reflect po tayo let's uh, uh, have a time of reflection in our life uh, probably uh, God is dealing with you to forgive someone in this uh, and he's dealing with you heavily amen and so that's one of the causes why you are going through some trials amen so here comes the gospel again the love of God. Amen? Uh, you have to forgive as God has forgiven you. That's the teaching of the Bible. If God is dealing with you in that area, then you have to submit to God. Amen? So that the power of God, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ will be so strong in your life. Okay? So that's number one. A person is going through some trials because somehow God is dealing with you. In some areas of your life. Amen. So what's the solution? Submit. According to the book of James. 
chapter 4, verse 7. Okay, number 2. Very quick, no? <clears throat> number 2. If it is self-induced, okay? In other words, uh, you did it intentionally. Okay? Self-induced trouble. So, we call it S-I-T. Self-induced trouble. Try to... Uh, try to learn from the problems that you have brought on ourselves. We, the num number number one that you need to do is to accept that uh, you have made a mistake, you have made the wrong decision, and so what you're going to do, you have to learn. Number two is you have, and I have to learn from my mistakes. Number one is to admit that we have. Uh, we have uh, uh, committed a wrong decision in our life and uh, learned from it. Amen? And the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 11, yeah, Learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen? So learn from the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, he, and of course, the, our teacher is the Holy Spirit. So if we are suffering... If we are struggling because of the, the past mistakes, of course, God will forgive you. And then second is to learn from the self-induced troubles that we have right now. Amen? Past is past. God has forgiven you. God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. But the thing is, in order for us to, to go through the trials that we have, uh, that we have done, uh, the self-induced troubles, then we have to learn from it and not to do it again. Amen? And number three, if it is of Satan, okay, if it is the attack of the enemy, then what you need to do? Okay? Fight it. That's the time that we fight. Okay? Number one, if, uh, if God is dealing with us in some areas of our lives, then we have to submit to God. Under his authority, under his advice, under his guidance, Lord, here I am. I submit to you. Uh, I might not be strong enough, but I need your strength, Lord, to overcome. Next is <clears throat> the self-induced trouble. If uh, you are having a hard time because of uh, or have struggles because of wrong decision, what do you need to do? Learn from it. You have to learn. And number three, if it is... Uh, if the struggles that we have that we are in right now uh, you didn't decide to to have the virus okay god is not uh, uh the one who authorized the vi uh, i mean the, the one who gave the virus but for sure it is the attack of the enemy if it is the attack of the enemy what we will we will do we will fight and that's why we are having spiritual warfare every night because we are under attack amen we cannot just say oh this is the lord's dealing it is not the lord's dealing if it if god is dealing something in us he will he will speak through his word that we may that we may um, uh, change our ways but this is not the dealing of god per se this is the attack of the enemy why the enemy comes to kill to steal and to destroy it is not the work of god it is the work of the enemy amen so if it is an attack of satan then we have to fight amen uh, if it is satanic attack beyond god's will then go to the battle for 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 them and again james chapter 4 verse 7 resist the enemy and he will flee from you okay can we go to the book of psalms chapter 12 verse 6 the book of Psalms, chapter 12. Okay, let me just open my Bible. The book of Psalms, chapter 12. Ayan. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 12, verse 6, and the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver refined in a furnace of clay, purified seven times. 
you have to trouble test your faith in God's word. What is the Lord saying? Is he dealing something? Then that dealing should be coming from the word of God. If uh, we have made a wrong decision, then uh, the, the word of God will always say to us, speak to us, that we have made uh, the reason why we're suffering is because we have made a wrong decision. Amen. And uh, uh, when when the situation is uh, is severe, like our uh, our times right now, uh, we are saying, "Well, Lord, what do you want us to do with this uh, with this suffering that the whole world is doing right now?" Well, I'll tell you one thing: God is saying, "Fight the good fight of faith." Amen. Lift up the banner of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Amen. This is the time for warfare. This is the time that your faith and my faith will always be in tune. While we are standing on the foundation of the gospel, we're fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. So you are, a, all of us are spiritual warriors. Glory to God. And, um, and uh, this suffering, the worldly suffering, is uh, the author of this is no other than the enemy. So what the people of God must do, we need to fight. Amen. So God will give us wisdom. God will give us uh, confirmation according to His word. Because Psalm chapter 12 verse 6 says that the words of the Lord are flawless like silver refined in a furnace of clay purified seven times. So we cannot go wrong when the word of God is speaking. When God is speaking, we cannot go, we cannot go wrong. Amen. Last verse, one hand, uh, Psalms 105 verse 19. Psalms 105 verse 19. 103. Psalms 105. 5 verse 19 so again the Bible says I'm gonna end up on this till what he foretold came to pass till the word of the Lord proved him true amen the Bible says till what he foretold came to pass until the word of the Lord proved him true he will always prove his word through. So all of this suffering that uh, we are experiencing right now, he will hold his word through that this pandemic situation, that this uh, virus it has to be fought with. Hindi natin pwedeng paglaruan. We cannot play with it. We cannot take this virus lightly. We have to fight the good fight of faith. We have to engage in warfare. It is the time for the church of God to rise up, having been forgiven, having been cleansed by the blood of the Lord. We have to fight the good fight of faith. So church, I thank you so much for joining me tonight. And we're going to pray and we're going to fight the attack of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, you can see... A lot of uh, posting on Facebook, uh, people are crying, people are uh, losing hope, but no, not us. It's not because we are stronger than them, but because we know that we are on the winning side, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. So I'm just encouraging you tonight, you are on the winning side. You are on the winning side. We fight the good fight of faith. And we are fighting an enemy that is lost already. Amen. Taluna na po ang kalaban. Hallelujah. We are fighting an enemy that is already have been defeated. Amen. So let us just remind the enemy that he is defeated. Let us just remind the enemy that no weapon that is formed against his church will prevail. Amen. So praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Maraming maraming salamat. Lord, 
I pray. Let's just continue. And um, we're gonna go ahead and pray. I pray for a supernatural strength to cover my brothers and my sisters right now. Those uh, people that are in tuning are are tuning on this uh, uh, live video right now. Lord, I pray for a supernatural strength right now. I pray that the joy of the Lord will cover them from the top of their head down to the very sole of their feet, O Lord God. I pray for those nurses, doctors, O Lord God. Lord, once they go back to their respective work, as we have called them the frontliners, the food uh, handlers, O Lord God, the, the maintenance people that works in the hospital, the... the uh, the, the janitors, O oh Lord God, the housekeepers, O oh Lord God, that are touching, hallelujah, and cleaning the, uh, the, the hospital facilities. I pray that you will speak to them, O oh Lord God, hallelujah, that they are in a warfare, that fear has no more room in our hearts. But we, without any arrogance, we will walk by faith and not by sight encourage my brothers and sisters right now in jesus mighty name they will hallelujah step on that hospital declaring jesus is lord hallelujah in jesus name and to my brothers and sisters that are staying home lord i pray that every day they will continue to engage in this warfare declaring he is the healer that jesus is the owner of this world that the blood of the lord jesus christ is always covering them in the name of jesus this is the time that we wage war against the enemy lord strengthen our hands that we may wage war against the enemy in jesus mighty name lord i pray hallelujah even for our cyns our children oh lord god Lord, I pray that no form of fear will even touch their minds, will even touch their physical body in Jesus' name. For our, hallelujah, all of the CNA, PCA, the technicians, hallelujah, all of the staff in the hospital, even the, the, the driver of the ambulance, O oh Lord God, the fire, fire, fire department, O oh Lord God, even the police department, even the governors, the mayors, Hallelujah. Both, hallelujah, in the, uh, in the government position, O oh Lord God. Lord, we ask for your grace. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, speak the word, O oh Lord God. Your word is forever settled in heaven. Your word is pure. It has been tried, hallelujah, under the furnace seven times, O oh Lord God, as you have said in the book of Psalms, chapter 12, verse 6. Father God, your word, hallelujah, has the final authority. Your word has the final decision. Whatever you say, it will and it shall come to pass. No devil in hell can prevent what you have spoken. Your Lord, you said that you are our salvation. It, it that's a that's the period, O oh Lord God. You are our salvation. You, when you said that you are the healer, you are the healer, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. When you said, O Lord God, draw close to you, and hallelujah, you will draw close to us. When you said we have the authority to resist the devil, and you said the devil will flee from us, Lord, we have drawn close to you, and we do believe by faith that you are close to us. Right now, we are resisting the enemy. We're resisting any form of fear. We're resisting coronavirus right now in Jesus' name. And have that faith, my brothers and sisters, that the enemy is fleeing seven ways. Hallelujah. Uh, from where you are right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. And I pray, O oh Lord God, hallelujah for Sylvia. Manly, O oh Lord God, hallelujah, I pray, O oh Lord God, she is positive with this uh, uh, coronavirus. We rebuke that coronavirus, hallelujah, in her body, in Jesus' mighty name. We resist you in her life, in Jesus' name. And if Sister Sylvia or Sylvia Manning is not saved, Lord, I pray that you will give us the opportunity, hallelujah, to speak to her over the phone and share, to, share with her, O oh Lord God, the gospel that will deliver her that will heal her and that will save her 
may we represent the name of Jesus to her life in Jesus' name. Lord, we continue to pray for the Barron's family. Hallelujah. Lord, even the uh, the children of, of Brother Robert. Hallelujah. Sister Daisy and uh, her her daughter, O Lord God. I pray that you will continue to protect them, guide them, O Lord God, and cover them with your blood. I We continue to pray for uh, J.R., Abby, and... Uh, Their daughter Gabby, O Lord God, I pray for healing in Jesus' name. We speak the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We speak, O Lord God, that they may come to know you and the power of your resurrection, O Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we pray for uh, mother-in-law of uh, Sister uh, Rodis, uh, May Rodis, O Lord God, uh, Margarita Rodis, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for healing, we pray for deliverance, we pray for salvation in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the work of the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Even, O oh Lord God, for the uh, EMTs, hallelujah. Lord, the one who uh, be, who's being dispatched to pick up all of those people that are sick, O oh Lord God. Lord, protect them. We need them, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that uh, you will stop the spread of this uh, coronavirus, O oh Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I thank you and I bless you, O oh Lord God, in Jesus' name. We continue to thank you for the life of our bishop, Brother Eddie. Hallelujah. Continue to make him strong. I pray, O oh Lord God, for uh, the EMBs, the directors, the pastors, O oh Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for the whole entire membership of JL uh, Queens, New York, even their loved ones in the Philippines or in different parts of the world. Lord, anoint uh, our brothers and sisters in JL Queens, New York, oh God. Lord, a special prayer, and I believe the Lord is uh, leading me uh, to that uh, hot spot, the Elmhurst area, oh Lord God. We are we are covering. that area with prayers, O Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. It become a foothold of the enemy. Lord, right now we are uprooting the foothold of the enemy in Elmhurst area, the hotspot in Queens in general, the hotspot of this virus, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. We rebuke you in the whole state. We rebuke you in the whole state of New York and New Jersey, and the 50 states of the U.S. in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Lord, right now, we are just praying over that uh, uh, Elmhurst and the surrounding air. There are some Filipinos that are positive, O oh Lord God. I have received many, uh, many messages. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray and we lift up all of our brothers and sisters or even the Filipinos particularly that are affected by this uh, uh, sickness, O oh Lord God, we speak life to them in Jesus' name. We speak the mercy of God to be upon them, the grace of God in Jesus' mighty name. Salamat, Panginoon. Thank you, O oh Lord God, for allowing us and giving us the anointing to fight the good fight of faith and to come against principalities and rulers. You died, hallelujah, for this, that uh, we may be able to be equipped in Jesus' name. Hindi namin sasayangin, Panginoon. We will not waste the the anointing that you have given to us, O oh Lord God. Lord, I pray in Jesus' mighty name, Hallelujah for our church in Jersey City. Lord, I pray for every members, every children, every CYN, and even the Indian community. I pray for the Indian community in Jersey City. Lord, I pray for our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. The, that they will continue to be strong in the Lord. And for the Indian community that are not uh, saved yet, Lord, I pray that they may receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, we even pray for uh, the members, for the seniors, O oh Lord God, hallelujah, in Jersey City. Continue to bless them and protect them, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let me go back to New York. Lord, I pray for uh, Tatay Bernardo Eloria. Hallelujah. Sister Alma's father, uh, he is a positive. Lord, we, of uh, COVID, we rebuke that. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, in the life of Bernardo Eloria, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. 
and Lord, even for Bergen County, we pray, O Lord God, hallowed for the leadership of Brother Ronald. Lord, continue to bless them, guide them, O Lord God, and I declare, hallelujah, the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ in the whole Bergen County membership. I pray for Sister Lorena, continuous healing for Sister Lorena. I declare that you are healed by the stripes of Jesus. You are healed. Even for Sister Elena, a uh, continuous recovery. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life in Jesus' name. To whomever hear the sound of my voice, I speak life to you. In everything that is concerning you, I speak life. I speak life. I speak life of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We will not take anything from the devil. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for all of my prayer partners, New York, Jersey City, and Bergen County. They are my prayer partners, O Lord God. Salamat, salamat, Panginoon. Lord, right now, strengthen, strengthen every family right now. And I pray for every relationship to be covered by the blood of Jesus. Relationship between husband and wife, I pray for the blood of Jesus. Relationship between parents and children, I pray for the blood of Jesus to cover all of us in Jesus' name. Relationship between brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray for the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. I pray for our uh, East USA churches. I pray for your protection. I pray for your grace in Jesus' mighty name. Salamat ng marami, Panginoon. Hallelujah. And tonight, allow your people to sleep well. And even, O oh Lord God, for those people who have lost their job, I pray that you will give them wisdom. I pray that you will give them comfort. I pray, O oh Lord God, that you will continue to give them, hallelujah, your word. Comfort them with your word, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, they will overcome. All of, uh, if anyone have lost their job, you will overcome. By the grace of God, you will overcome. Let me put it in scripture. The Bible says, I have been young and now I, have, I am old. David says, yet I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their children begging for bread. Amen. Hallelujah. So, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Let's continue to love one another. Let's continue to pray for one another. Let's continue to glorify God, especially in times like this. We will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continuously be in our mouth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And we continue to give you the highest form of glory, honor, and praises. Until you wake us up again in the morning, we will bless you from the rising of the sun until the setting of the same. In Jesus' name, this we pray. Everybody say, Amen and Amen and Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Salamat once again. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. Amen and Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. God has a great plan sa buhay po ninyo. Before we end, I just wanna reiterate again that God has a plan in your life. And I know all of us, one of our favorite verses is Jeremiah 29.11. We memorized it. We spoke of it. We, we even say it. And that is true. God has a great plan in your life. Hallelujah. Especially in this time. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And uh, Tuesday, uh, our regional uh, pastor is calling for a uh, pray uh, meeting on Tuesday from 7 to 9 p.m. On Tuesday, I don't know if uh, I can, uh, we can still, uh, I can join with you guys in prayer. Uh, I will let you know by tomorrow what we are going to do on our nightly prayer. And uh, because our regional pastor is calling for a meeting on Tuesday, 
at 7 p.m. up to 9 p.m. So tatamaan po it will uh, it will uh, go uh, it will uh, tatamaan yung ating uh, 8 o'clock prayer meeting. Ano po? Uh, so I will let you know what uh, will be the decision tomorrow. Okay, if if one of you will handle the uh, prayer meeting, it's, it's fine with me. Okay, one of our leaders. And uh, if not, please keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying and encouraging one another. Amen. We love you all. And uh, personally, I miss all of you. <laughs> and uh, thank you for joining with me tonight. Amen. To God be the glory. We love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. See you. See you. See you.